Bring them on! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the to the welcome to the Tesla semi truck event. I hope you like what you see. I'm going to tell you about everything that this this truck can do. Um, it, it blows my mind. I think it'll blow yours. Starting with performance. So we have a, an acronym we came up with um, that uh, I think really really describes the performance well. <laughs> so, it's a te technical term. <laughs> but let's show you what that means in, in acceleration. So, one thing we care about Tesla is we really care about performance. We want, it, we want a, a vehicle that feels incredible, that accelerates like nothing else. Uh, let's show what the, the truck, uh, what, what it's like to be in a Tesla truck. This is real time. Okay. okay. So that's, the, the, Tesla, the Tesla semi will go zero to 60 in five seconds. Okay. So that, that's, by itself or with a trailer. Now, at 80,000 pounds max gross vehicle weight, th that's the most amount of weight you can carry on a US highway, this is the real-time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. That, uh, on the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving <laughs> is a diesel truck. So you know, give it a moment. I'm sorry to bore you. I apologize. It's boring. I know. Eventually, it'll get there. All right. Even with 80,000 pounds pulling max gross, getting 60 miles an hour in 20 seconds. That's what it can do. Now, what about up a hill? OK. The, the best diesel trucks can only do 45 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Tesla Semi can do 65 miles an hour up to 5% grade. Yeah. That's 65 miles an hour continuous at max gross. What this means is that if, you've got a, if you're pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountainous terrain up a hill, you, you're earning per mile. You're earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That's a gigantic difference. Them. Uh, now, one of the biggest questions we've been asked about uh, electric trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because, well, let's find out. So, 500 mile range. Yeah. But what does a 500 mile range mean? And by the way, it's 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speed. So, you're doing like 60 miles an hour. That's a worst case scenario. But what it means is that, since, because the vast majority of routes, because the vast majority are, are, are under 250 miles, 
It means that you can go to your destination and back, even if your destination has no charging. You can, you can go there and back, go there and home with, without recharging. So you could, you could deliver a load out from the middle of nowhere and come back. Now, how do we achieve this? One of the th ways we do this is we design the Tesla truck to be like a bullet. So whereas a normal diesel truck is designed more like a barn wall, this is a bullet. You can see this in the drag coefficient. So the Tesla semi has a 0.36 drag coefficient. The way well, this is a really good number. <laughs> As a, by way of comparison, if a Bugatti Chiron which is a $2 million supercar, has a 0.38 drag coefficient. This has got a better drag coefficient than a supercar. And by the way, we, yeah. By the way, we, you can see that in the design. Um, the, uh, part of the way we achieve that is with the bullet-shaped nose. We also have side flaps that map to the, whatever trailer you're pulling, whether it's a new trailer or old tra trailer, the, the side flaps will map to whatever trail you're, you're pulling and close the gap. So uh, this, this makes a huge difference to the drag coefficient. Uh, the, the bottom of the truck is also completely flat, so the air can flow straight through. Uh, these are things that you don't see on any other trucks, and it gives us incredible highway range. It's one of the key factors. We also have uh, four independent uh, motors. On, so there's a, there's a motor on each of the rear wheels, and an independent front, sus front suspension, so it's incredibly comfortable to, to drive this truck. For interest's sake, we created uh, a pickup truck version of the Tesla Semi. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> so, now, <laughs> By the way, this is, you, you can legally drive that. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be legal, but um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you will actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. It's kind of wrong, but I like it. <laughs>